Howdy, partners. Well, Ryan and the lady just upgraded my daily driver. I'm going to let Ryan show you what this thing's all about. The 2024 Kawasaki Mule Platinum Ranch Edition. Buckle up. Let's ride. <laughs> Dude, can I get in? You mind if I sit with you? You know, like right here? Yeah, thanks. All right. There it is. The 2024 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT 1000 Platinum Ranch Edition. Buyer's regret? <laughs> Not at all. Our UTV is one of the two pieces of equipment that we cannot live without on the ranch. Uh, this thing gets us from point A to point B. You know, you've seen our Polaris Ranger in the past. It's one of those things you use every single day. The, uh, the lightweight footprint doesn't trash the pastures or compact the soil too much. And it goes places that, you know, your daily driver or your ranch truck or your tractor won't necessarily go. Did we absolutely need a new UTV? Eh, I don't know. Um... It got a little tight. You know, you've seen a lot of our videos where we start with Lady and I cruising around in the evening and, oh wow, hey, there's our bull over there who just jumped a fence. And before you know it, we've got two dogs and three adults in the front seat of a, you know, one bench ranger. So we definitely wanted something a little bit bigger. Splurge, a little bit of a splurge. With this thing, man, we got way more than we bargained for. We had a few basic buying criteria. One, we had to have something that met our needs, right? So if we're gonna buy something new, we wanted something that could fit two, actually three adults, Lady, Chloe, myself, and two dogs, Esco and Oliver. Biscuit, you know, she stays inside most of the time these days, but this thing is very comfortable for that entire crew. Also, I wanted something that could pull a trailer around, a small trailer if we needed to. This thing literally has a 2,000 pound, that's a one ton towing capacity. So no problem even moving our new livestock trailer or that, um, that big cargo trailer if I need to move it around a little bit or haul a little flatbed around the pastures to collect brush or you know move a few things, fence materials, no big deal. I mean, this thing pulls more than, you know, some small trucks. We needed something that could carry a good amount of stuff, right? In the bed, when we're going around and, for instance, burning brush, you know, cutting trees, clearing fence lines. This met our needs. Uh, another buying criteria. You know, if we're gonna buy something, I don't wanna break the bank. 
you know, it's a little bit of a splurge. We had a Polaris Ranger. Um, so I looked at new Rangers, those big, you know, double bench, you know, six seater Polaris Rangers, kind of pricey. John Deere Gators, forget about it. This thing was 23,000 and some change all in. Platinum Ranch Edition, like no kidding. Leather seats, super fancy looking, has some features that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Came with a slight lift, oversized tires, came with the winch, all dressed up for 23,000 and some change. Uh, at that point, you know, compared to the, uh, the Can-Am, looked at the Can-Am, uh, again, looked at Polaris Ranger, looked at the John Deere Gator, and this thing, from a price perspective, was a major win. You know, when you're gonna buy something like this, you don't necessarily want to have to buy it again in three to four years. So reputation, durability, that was key for me. Um, the Kawasaki name, if you've ever bought a big commercial zero turn mower, it's either gonna come with a Kohler engine or a Kawasaki, and you want the Kawasaki because it's absolutely bulletproof. We all know this. And so even when you're buying your mower, you're like, okay, well, how much does it cost to go up to the Kawasaki engine? It's just, it's a good brand. They've been around in mules. We've all seen those mules on the old timers ranches that look like an old turtle, right? It's like a tank, you know, those are early nineties models and they're still using them every day. I had confidence that if we bought this, I wouldn't have to buy it again anytime soon. <laughs> Lastly, last buying criteria, our proximity to a reputable dealer who can take care of the, the major work, you know, major servicing, what have you. And uh, we happen to have Clyber tractor and equipment right down the road over there in LaGrange, Texas. Uh, they've taken care of us in the past. You've seen my new Holland Workmaster 75. We got that from Clyber Tractor. I just call my boy Patrick, show up over lunch. He has everything ready for me. We knock out the deal, no gameplay. They take care of us and they do my um, service work as well. They've been great. So let's take a quick look around this thing and I'll show you some of the things we like. So this is that magical week between Christmas and New Year's where I'm able to spend a little bit more time than normal on the ranch knocking out that in that huge list of things that need to be knocked out, right? Just nice to have that time. So I'm spending a lot of time on this mule. And one of the things you'll notice is I'm just cruising through the pasture, talking in, I don't know, normal voice. This thing is so quiet. This is a 1000 cc engine, technically 999 cc's exceptionally powerful i don't know i think the top speed's like 75 or 76 probably will not ever do that but this engine is so quiet compared to the ranger but check this out i want you to hear this thing running i'm literally standing above the exhaust talking in a normal voice and it doesn't i mean lady and i can have a conversation here and that's the thing we we go out and cruise every evening in the spring, summer, and fall when we've got a few more hours of daylight and uh, check our fences, check the animals. And it's a great way to wind down in the evening. And, you know, being able to have a conversation without having to yell over a screaming exhaust and a little four cycle engine, it's kind of nice. Yeah, that alone makes this thing worthwhile. So in terms of positives, there are quite a few. Matter of fact, I have a hard time thinking of negatives. And I always want to give someone a negative in a video, especially a review video or a first look or looking at a piece of equipment, you know, just to give you an accurate idea of what you can expect. So far, the only negatives i found also go with the positives, right? The size. I just bought a new cargo trailer uh, to haul the Ranger around in different places. If we go to New Mexico, uh, climb mountains or what have you, we can pull the Ranger with us. This thing's a little too big for the cargo trailer. And it's a little too big to fit in Texas Barn, where I previously drove the Ranger. Which is okay, because, you know, we're uh, in the process of building a new barn. I think those are the only negatives I've found thus far. Okay, so I referenced that other positive I wanted to show you. Check this out. So, I often work by myself, right? 
and I don't necessarily need all the room when it's just myself. And Esco, by the way, should be with me, but he had his mid-afternoon snack and he's up there taking a nap, of course. I digress. Um, I often work by myself and when I do, I don't need all this cabin room. I need more bedroom, right? And this thing accommodates. Release that. Release that. Flip that little guy up. You can see we have... <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we've definitely been using this thing, by the way. And then here, these come up. Come up. And go forward. So at the Shiner Beer Run, the uh, half marathon in Shiner, Texas, we recently filmed, the, um, the local paramedics, you know, and the, and the medical crew, they had these, the 2020, well, they had a 2023 and then they had some 2024s. And it was really interesting. They had them kitted out for, kitted out, I think that's a word, for uh, medical evac treatment, stuff like that. But look at what we did to the size of the bed. Previously, the bed ended right here, which is perfect for my DeWalt box, of course, which I love. But now we've got all that room, which is really nice. You know, sometimes you need that extra room. Like those days when you're building H braces and hanging gates. It's just nice to have a little bit of extra room in the bed to haul some eight foot posts around. It's nice. And I only needed one today, which is good. So since we are in that magical week between Christmas and New Year's, where I'm able to knock out that list, I think I'm gonna leave you here. So in short, I, I don't have a lot of negatives here. This thing's great. I mean, I, I do not regret the purchase at all. Uh, we traded in the Ranger, so we have only one of these now, but that's all we need. It meets our needs. Uh, bought it cost effectively from a dealer that I, I know, like, and trust. And I'm not worried about this thing breaking down or having to upgrade or, or add on later on. I don't need accessories. It came with everything. So, uh, yeah, not a paid sponsor, by the way. This is just a really, really cool tool that I really appreciate. Lady happens to like, so does Chloe. And thought I'd share it with you. So on that note, I bid you very happy ranching in this coming year. And we'll see you next time. Did you know there's 500 hours of content uploaded to YouTube every 60 seconds? Well, that makes us feel kind of special that you're spending your time here with us. And if you'd like to spend a little more time at Railhead Ranch, click this little circle button in the middle. That's a subscribe button. And the buttons on either side, well, I've got a video and a playlist for you too.